Welcome back. We are about to bring you an almost unbelievable story out into the open. Ask yourself, how willing would you be to make friends with someone who hates you because of your skin color? Well, that's exactly why the man you're about to meet caught our attention. We have seen many stories about the Ku Klux Klan and black people persecuted by the Klan. And we were amazed to hear about a black man who reached out to Klansmen and even made friends with some of them. Don't believe it? Neither did we. Here's Thelma Gutierrez with the proof. I think of church bombings, uh, church burnings. People that's not knowledgeable of the Klan, they say the Klan preaches and thrives on violence. I think it's wrong to mix the races. Racism is like cancer. You know, if you choose to ignore cancer, it metastasizes. Bob White was a Ku Klux Klan leader for 20 years. I'm respecting the Klan. Daryl Davis has been a victim of racism. I remember going to a public swimming pool with some friends of mine, and it was one of some white guys. And when I got in, everybody got out. A guy in the dressing room called me a n Davis has gone on to play with some of the biggest names in music. Somehow, Bob White, the Klansman, and Daryl Davis, the musician, ended up like this. I never set out to convert anybody. I simply set out to get information from my book. Davis wanted to understand the roots of racism, so he sought out KKK leaders. They didn't learn he was black until he showed up for the interviews. In some cases, some wouldn't talk to me. In other cases, I was attacked. But other Klan leaders opened their doors and sat down and talked with Davis. And the more you find things in common, the less you have in contrast. Amazingly, Davis even began attending Klan rallies. He says it was all in the name of research for his book, Clandestine Relationships. A lot of times we don't agree with everything, but at least he respects me to sit down and listen to me. Davis says he didn't uh, set out to Taylor. befriend any Klansmen, but over the years, Taylor. it happened. And uh, this is uh, Roger Kelly. Kelly was the Imperial Wizard of Maryland. Today, Roger Kelly is out of the Klan. Do you think that you had something to do with Roger Kelly leaving the Klan? Oh, I know I did. It was an exchange of information that made him rethink his ideology. In all, 13 Klansmen and women who got to know Davis left the Klan, giving him their Klan medallions, T-shirts, robes, and hoods. People say to me, Daryl, how can you have this stuff? I'm, I, I will never burn this. It means they no longer believe in the ideology and philosophy behind these things. Hey, Bob, how you doing? There is one retired Klansman who has not there. given up his robes, but Davis still considers him one of his closest friends. <laughs> it's Bob White, the former Maryland Grand Dragon, whom Davis has known for 15 years. I saw that Darrell was an honest man. He can carry a message, and I think it's proven that the blacks and whites can communicate. Their friendship runs so deep that when Davis was attacked by Klansmen 12 years ago, White broke the Klan oath and went to court and testified against them. And once Davis testified on behalf of Klansmen, he says were wrongly accused of crimes, an odd alliance that has been criticized by both sides. I've been called Uncle Tom, I've been called an Oreo, I've been called all kinds of names. You know, people have said to me, you know, hey, you know, we've worked hard to get 10 steps forward and here you are putting those 20 steps back by sitting down with the enemy. Well, I say when everybody gets done viewing this and the younger ones look at don't know me, and they say, he's a n lover. You have seen him on television, sitting right next to this guy. But as they get older and they realize that shooting and cutting and killing is not going to get the job accomplished. You're going to have to have some rapport between everybody to sit down and talk these things over. Advice that has led to an unexpected lifelong friendship. We come to my wedding? Sure, I'll be at your wedding. If you want me there. Why would you, I'll, why I'll, would you go you. to his wedding if you don't believe in the mixing of races? I will attend the wedding if he wants me there, just to, because it's Daryl. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Baltimore, Maryland. We all got a lot to learn, don't we? Huh?